Hi everybody, I've got a massive Walmart haul. We're only going there once a month because every time we go to get a few things, we spend too much. So we're just gonna go get it over with. And yeah, things were up again. Uh, not everything, you know, uh, not as bad as Aldi. I mean, Aldi is getting to where, like I said, every time we go in there, I can notice things going up. But some of the products stayed the same. I had all the prices wrote down um, it was $50 more than I had down, uh, but we did get a few things, but I know it was some of it was just because it went up. So, uh, so I've got all the refrigerated stuff here first. We've got some Swaggerty Sausage, our favorite. Instead of center cut, these were a little bit cheaper, the pork chops, and we could make two meals out of these. Um, if they were a little bit bigger, we could have made three, but they're kind of small. These are called ribeye chops, and they were uh, cheaper. They were $3.68 a pound. The center cut was like $5 and some a pound. So I thought that was, uh, they look about the same. I hope they're just as good. Okay. I got stuff everywhere. I got a couple things to try on my re uh, reviews, my taste test. This one's Smart Ones Broccoli and Cheddar Roasted Potatoes. This one is Creamy rigatono, Rigatoni with Broccoli and Chicken. We got some, they didn't have the deli wedges, so we got seasoned fries. Got some little potatoes. We're gonna fix something in the crock pot with them. I got this Oikos strawberry. I guess it's Greek yogurt. I got that for free. Actually, it was only a dollar eight, and I got a dollar twenty-five back from my bottle on that. Okay. We got this for tonight. Chicken bacon ranch hoagie. Don't feel like fixing anything more really tonight. Got some eggs. I'm not sure how much they were yet. I got my receipt here. I got some mozzarella cheese. I'll make a pizza. I got some of the onion rings. I believe they went up because I had, I had uh, the price I had down, it was more. I got some chicken egg rolls. Some bacon, egg, and cheese croissants for breakfast. Some fish fillets. They're actually pretty good. Ground chicken was cheaper than ground turkey. We were looking for the roll of butterball with ground turkey. They were out of it. So we got the ground chicken. Got some thin sliced honey turkey breast. Got two things of ground chuck. This is really good, this ground chuck here. Got two of them. Got some Italian style cheese. They didn't have provolone and mozzarella. This has provolone and mozzarella and more in it. I thought it'd be okay for the Phillies if we make them again or when we make them again. It's always making some kind of a dessert for Logan's birthday. So you got whip, whipping cream. Uh, Logan wanted some turkey bacon for his breakfast uh, on his birthday. We got that. That's the only brand they have, the only kind they have. We got some cream cheese for the choice dessert she's making. Kitty. Kitty, don't be chewing in there. What are you chewing on? We got this to make smoothies, antioxidant blend. It's got strawberries, blueberries, raspberry, cherries, and pomegranate. To make some uh, smoothies. Come here. You can't stay up there right now. Over there. Okay. 
We've got two packs of green onions. We've got some overnuts from green beans. We're going to make green beans one night with potatoes. Now a salad mix. Got some regular plain Greek yogurt to go in the smoothies. Got a, the cheapest thing they got is butterball smoked sausage. All the others going way up. We got some mild cheddar shredded. Got two cans of biscuits. Flaky Jumbo Biscuits Kitty. Got two of those Italian style because I was going to get the big bag. And then two of the biscuits. Okay, I think that's all the refrigerated. So I'm going to put all that up. Okay, I forgot to show this one. I'm still putting stuff up. Shredded lettuce. Okay, got all that put up. I'm going to fix some burgers with one of that a pound of that ground chuck. I'm gonna make them into patties and fix some cheeseburgers one night. So we got these Nature's Own perfectly crafted brioche buns. They're super soft. Set that there. Don't to get anything on it. Smash it. Here's something new: uh, Smart Food Doritos flavor, limited flavor, nacho cheese. That's for Logan's reviews. And I don't know if we've tried this before or not, but I got this Twix Salted Caramel. I know Logan loves Twix. We needed some slow cooker liners. They were out of them at Aldi. They're, they might be a little cheaper at Aldi, but there's only four of them in there. This one has eight, so it lasts quite a while. Logan's been looking for these Oreos. It's Mocha Caramel Latte Flavor Cream. They went up. I got some kettle cooked, uh, great value kettle cooked jalapeno potato chips. Try. I got some sponges. Wash dishes with and stuff. I couldn't find the great value pepperoni, but I found this Mama Mary's pepperoni. There's 80 slices, over 80 slices in it. They may have had the, the great value pepperoni somewhere else. I don't know. I got one of these to compare it to the one at Aldi that we got. The four cheese instant potatoes. I'll see which one's better. That one costs a little bit more than Aldi. And uh, they also have a roasted garlic, but I didn't get it at Aldi. But we got a roasted garlic one. I got these uh, Pringle Scorching Wavy Loaded Nachos. We were looking for, um, I can't remember what the one that Logan had me looking for. I got it wrote down. It was Mexican street corn, I think. Yeah, Mexican street corn. They didn't have it. Um, I got three of these for kitties this time. There's four in each. She's crazy about these. She eats every single bite of it. There's really not a whole lot in these little tubes, though. We got three of them for because she, she deserves something like that. We got some bacon pieces. Great value brand. Um, I saw this and just thought it'd be good maybe to put, I don't know, put some hamburger with it or something or ground turkey and make something out of it. Put some cheese and stuff. It's Nor Taco Rice. Taco Rice. And we got the pink snowballs. We don't get too many sweets, but we got that. And we got, while they had them, lots of times they're about out of these. They'll just, they sit right next to the goober grapes. So I don't know if they make them or not for them, but they taste just exactly the same as the goober grapes. And they're way cheaper uh, than, the, than the name brand. Uh, so we got two of them. And they got some Sticky Fingers or Carolina Sweet Original barbecue sauce. That's really good stuff. I like that. And Stubbs is my favorite. I was out of my grits and I can't have that. So I got two of the Quaker Instant Grits Butter Flavor. I was looking for the bigger pack, the, 
that had more in it, like the family pack or whatever. They didn't, they were out of it. All they had was the cheddar one. Uh, the great value natural strawberry spread was cheaper than this, but Joy wanted the Welch's. And there's more in this one than there was in the great value one. So we got that. Um, she needs this to make whatever it is she's making, some kind of a dessert. That's just gelatin, unflavored gelatin. And their their wipes, their baby wipes were wiped out. Excuse the pun. Uh, they didn't have any of the big packs that I, that I usually get. Um, but anyway, I got these. I got a three pack, and there's only 80 in these. I don't know if they changed all of them, but they used to have. A, I, the last time I bought these was month before last, and I bought the big one with a eight in it. And they had a hundred in each of them. I noticed these today have 80. I'll, I'll wait and see when they come in. If they ever get stopped back up, I'll look and see if those have a hundred in it or if they've changed them to 80. I, I think they've changed them to 80 instead of a hundred. So another thing of making things smaller. And speaking of smaller, we finally found Joy's puff corn, the Chester's butter flavored puff corn. And it's a smaller bag than it was. It certainly is. It's uh, three and a fourth ounces. I can't remember what it was. I'm thinking it was like six ounces or something like a regular bag of chips. And it's, it's smaller. Another thing getting smaller. Smaller, smaller, smaller. And this stuff here is $8.98 and it's three pounds. So that's pretty much like two 24 ounce cans, which is what most of them are anymore. And uh, it's, it comes out much better. I believe it was 898. So that'd be like 450, 448 or something, 449, uh, you know, if you were to buy a smaller can. So that's pretty, that's much cheaper. And that is good coffee. I mean, I love my Colombian coffee, but that is decent, really, it's decently good coffee. Okay, next round. Let me get this stuff out of the way. <laughs> There's a bunch of it. Okay, I think I finally got the rest of it up here. We got two cases of water. And they were actually cheaper than Aldi. They're 318 unless they charge more than the sticker said. Uh, they're 318 in a case and they're 329 last week or about four days ago at Aldi. So I don't know why the waters have, they last summer for a long time, they were $1.49, then they went to $1.69, then they went to $1.95, then on and on and on until they're $3.29. So I don't know. Got some bananas. Got some Granny Smith apples. And some red onions. Rotate that. Got a few left. Okay, I got this to try out. On uh, Logan's or mine, probably on Logan's. These Cheetos flavor shots, cheddar jalapeno flavored asteroids. Let's see, I want to set this down so I'm going to show this. I got some bug spray. I've already got bugs on my um, eggplants and they're eating holes in the leaves. And then uh, there's some of them that are on the peppers, but not a whole lot of things will mess with the peppers for some reason. But I had to have something, you know, because I can't just let them eat, it up, eat them up. So I got this insect killer. It says kills over... 130 insects pests without harming plants. So I hope so. Because usually I'll make most sprays or something you put on will make the leaves like turn brown or kind of curl up a little bit and things like that. And I already have seen wasps. Uh, I have I don't hadn't seen if they're doing making a nest anywhere yet, but they always do. So I gotta have some of this on hand. We you know, I've been talking about eggplants, and I looked at their eggplants in the garden center 
they had their plants out in a different area than they normally do and they didn't seem to have a whole lot unless they've sold a whole lot but i it it looks to me like it was pretty full but they didn't have that many varieties of things but their eggplants they they, they actually i was going to get a couple but I, and they looked pretty good but then a closer look at them they already had the little, I think they're called sand fleas or something like that, that get on them. The same thing that's on mine. And they eat little pinholes in it. And there's something else that's on them that, has, that eats big holes in it. But the little flea things are not really fleas, but they, they do little pinholes all over it. Well, these already had pinholes in the leaves, so I said no. And they were $3.98 for one plant. So, I mean, I, you know, I'll just... Uh, probably use what I got unless we go decide to go to Evergreen our local place I uh, might get a couple eggplants because mine aren't looking so good out there that's the only thing that hadn't grown real well one of them's doing great too and a second one's doing pretty good but that's there's not many that that look like they would make it even out there so talk, oh, excuse me talking about the eggplants they had some this is a black beauty I believe is what it said and that's one of the varieties that I'm growing um, we want to have some eggplant parmesan one night Joy was saying she her and Logan wanted some so I'll fix it for them and then hopefully later on in the year we'll have plenty of them our, of our own out here without having to buy them uh, Joy got her brownies she always gets these once a month and I, I couldn't afford much for the birds, but they love suet. And I got this, they lo actually really love this one. And you can smell it when you open it. It smells like berries. So I got two of these for the birdies. I couldn't afford any seed, but I got, I got a little bit of seed and I just give them uh, uh, stale bread and stuff. Okay, uh, y'all probably saw that on the cook with me, not cook, I, I'm not on the cook with me, but the short from the cook with me that where I fixed those pork chops. This is what we had, these Margaret Home seasoned field peas and snaps. So Diane, you were looking for some, Diane Clark, you were wondering about these. They do have them at Walmart, this Margaret Holmes brand. Got two of those. They were more than I thought they'd be. I, I had down 75 cents, and I, I'll have to say they were over a dollar. Got one cut green bean, great value brand, and one French style. We hadn't had them in a while. Green bean. I got two sliced carrots. Got my favorite dressing, Logan and I's favorite. This uh, Wishbone Zesty Robusto Italian. It's really good stuff. Boy, I'll tell you what. If you like Italian dressing, you would really like this one. It's loaded. Look at that. I mean, it really is. Uh, Joy got her some of these Venom Energy Drinks Fruit Punch. I think she got two or three. Uh, we got some bow tie pasta. We we've got enough pasta, but we Joy wanted the ones with a little bow tie for something. Um, they didn't have any loose tomatoes. That's the first for me. I've never seen them with none. So in the in the area where they had the loose tomatoes, they had these packs, kind of like all these uh, packs. So we got two of these. Uh, got four of these uh, Pioneer Pepper Gravy Mix. That's my favorite. And Logan's also favorite pepper gravy. I got one more snack to try on Logan's shows or something. Uh, great. Uh, I'm going to start doing a few great value ones. You know, I just showed you the jalapeno kettle one. They got a pretty good variety. Uh, and this one is chili cheese corn chips. I wanted to see how good that was compared to the Fritos. Fritos may not, they may make them. I don't know. I really don't know. But they probably just like them, I'd say. Okay. I don't know if I mentioned it. We we last time we got a 50-pound bag of cat litter because it was pretty cheap that way. 
and then we wished we hadn't have got it because it was so heavy you know both of us you know I, i've got hernias and stuff and problems you know back problems too and stuff hurts and uh, joy has two herniated discs in her neck so she couldn't hardly you know help me even lift it and so this time we got two 25 pound bags it cost us a couple bucks more but it was worth it, it was worth it it was much easier i was able to carry them in and put them in there where they go without having to really strain myself okay here is the receipt it's a rather long receipt this time Oh, the Chesters, did I tell you they were smaller? Yeah, I think I did. They were the same price though, 228. So, you know, uh, make them smaller. Uh, the, the Doritos Nacho, remember I said those bet bags at the counter went up to $1.98, all of them, and that's how much it was for that little bag of uh, popcorn. Uh, the salted caramel uh, Twix was a dollar sixty-four. Cookware. I'm not for sure what this is. It says cookware. I'm not for sure what that is. Shredded mozzarella was two seventy-seven. The egg rolls were two ninety-eight, and they were two fifty. So they went up forty-eight cents. Onion rings went up from last time. I, I, I'm pretty sure they were a dollar ninety-eight. Now they're two eighty. Uh, I'd have to look again on my receipt, but that's what I wrote down. I'm pretty sure. For, for, and I did better with my uh, list this time. I had a dollar ninety-eight, so I must have wrote it down. That's how much they were. Uh, and now they're two. What did I just say? Two eighty-six. No. Two eighty. Uh, anyway, um, I separated my list into like produce and then uh, every like aisle, instead of having it all scattered, it was much easier to do our list this time than it was last time. I took more time with it. Um, I don't know what that is. It, I have no idea what that is. Something, bunch of letters and it says solo, but I don't know what okay maybe that was the wipes 512 the italian cheese is 220 the butterball smoked sausage is the cheapest thing they got and it's actually good for you you know compared to other smoked sausage it's 286 greek oh, okay that's the uh, yogurt was 347 the biscuits are they're high but we didn't feel like stopping at Aldi on the way back, so we got two of them. They're dollar fifty-two. They're ninety-nine cents at Aldi, unless they go up. Ground chicken was only three forty-seven. It was four thirty-nine or four seventy-nine. I think four seventy-nine for ground turkey, the cheapest one. I think the ground beef stayed the same price, five fourteen. I'm pretty sure that's what I had down on it. Meat, meat. Yeah, 514, so it stayed stayed the same. Honey roasted turkey was $3.12. That's that's not real bad. It was uh I had 60 cents off. It was 329 for that I got that roast beef I got at uh, uh, Kroger, but I had a 60 cent coupon. Eggs. Oh my gosh. 18 count is 398. We had to have some eggs, and they were 239, 238 for 12 the other day at Aldi, so they probably went up too. So almost four bucks for 18 eggs. That's uh, the pork chops were 839. If I'd got the same size of the center cut, they were like 11 dollars and some. So <coughs> we needed to. <coughs> they still look good. I mean, if they're just as good as center cut, we'll start getting them. The deli sub, they used to be uh, $5.98, now they're $6.50. Cat litter was $4.74 each, it was $8.88, which is $4.44 uh, per 25 pounds. So, 
so that's only 30 more cents. So we only paid 60 more cents. So that's well worth it to not have to lug that thing around. Waters were 318. The jalapeno kettle chips were $1.66. The Chester's were 228. They're the same price they've been, but this the bag is way smaller. Uh, brownies were 448. The grits were 288. That's cheaper than Kroger. They're 329 at Kroger. Uh, Joy got her a ramen noodle cup and she's already eaten it. It's 42 cents. I don't know what that is. C R N. I don't know what that is. Fish fillets were 448. The bacon, egg, and cheese croissants were 398. They're 399 at Aldi. So that's pretty close. The whipping cream was 208. The cream cheese $1.48. It was 82 cents at Aldi, but we didn't, like I said, we didn't feel like stopping. Uh, the fruit, uh, frozen fruit for smoothies was 828, but there's a lot of good fruit in there, but that is kind of high. Um, something bacon. Oh, the bacon bits, I guess, were 287. They used to be cheaper than that. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Italian cheese. The Oreos went up some, 428. They were 360 some last time I looked. Uh, sponges were 218. It said a dollar 97 on the sticker, so that went up. Pink snowballs are 368 now. They were 350. Wavy Progresso. I don't know what that is. Pr. S wavy. I don't know what that is. A dollar seventy-eight. The peanut butter and jelly stuff was two twenty-four. The salad, the uh, shredded lettuce is a dollar ninety-eight, and it's a dollar twenty-nine at Aldi. I don't know what that is. Bacon? No, maybe that's bacon pieces. A dollar fifty-eight. So I don't know what that other one was. L S bacon. I don't remember getting anything else that said bacon. Mm. The buns were 312, hamburger buns. The pepperoni was 297. The mashed potato instant ones were 62. They're 59 at Aldi. The Nor rice was $1.26. The Oikos was $1.06, but I got $1.25 back, so it was free and then some. Strawberry jelly jam, whatever it is, spread, 384. French fries were $1.76. The two um, Smart Ones meals were $2.18. That's not real bad. Baby carrots were $0.98. Cents. Italian dressing, $2.14. Uh, the green bean can was $54. Both of them were $54. Grits. The snap peas were $1.22 a piece. And I think it said $1.18 on them or $1.12 or something like that. The Swaggerty Sausage, $13.88. At one time it was $10 and some months ago, several months ago. Sweet Barbecue, oh, that's the uh, barbecue sauce was $2.88. The gelatin was $1.56. Uh, Kitty's uh, tuna things were $3.48 each. The Little Cheeto Asteroids was $1.18. Coffee was $8.98. The bow tie Pasta, $0.92. Cents. Pepper gravy's a dollar. Bananas a dollar sixty-seven. Apples four oh eight. Red onions three twenty-eight. Energy drinks were a dollar twenty-eight. They went up. They were ninety-nine cents for those. They sure were. <coughs> mm -hmm. The carrots, canned carrots were fifty-eight cents. The berry treats for the birds were dollar twenty-two. And the E L something I don't know what that is 297 the seven dust spray 747 that must be the uh, bug spray is 298 the salad mix was dollar 58 the fresh green beans 278 the green onions 88 cents a bunch the tomatoes were 227 each I think they're 219 for about the same thing at Aldi. And the iceberg. Hmm. 
This says iceberg. That must be the shredded lettuce. So what was that other one? I don't know. Packaged salad. It says a dollar ninety-eight, and then it said something else there. So I gotta figure that out. I don't know what. I didn't think we got three things like that, but oh well, I'll figure it out. So anyway, it was you know like two hundred and seventy bucks about. So good grief. Well, actually tax too. So. I don't know, 285 or tax, anything, I think that's how much it was. Yeah. So a, a bunch, anyway. I gotta figure out some things on that, though. I'm doing a price comparison list with Aldi and Walmart on things we get a lot to see which one stays cheaper. So anyway, that's a long one. I know it took a while, but I like to be thorough with it, and especially about the prices and stuff. So keep y'all informed about it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our big once a month haul for Walmart. Um, I doubt we'll go back. So hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press the like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and God bless. Bye.